There's nothing quite so great in my life as a teacher as when a student says, oh, is that why? And, and then the, you know, the train is out of the station. That's when it's just the best, is when the kid sees the light in some tiny little insignificant way. But we get to be there to, to, to witness it. What a moment, what a privilege. Some of those moments are small and some yeah. are big, but they add up. I mean, I even had a student who graduated back in June and emailed me this September saying, Miss Drake, I'm a month into my classes, I'm taking art classes, and I already see how everything that you were teaching us, it was preparing us. Hmm. You're like, the things that I didn't even realize I would need later, you were teaching us. And so, <laughs> and of course, typical high schooler, they're like, the things I thought were pointless, <laughs> I'm actually using now that reward of, their investment and your investment and the collaboration between them. It's pretty awesome. Also to see them embrace that type of growth mindset. Um, I got an email from a student who had struggled in one of my classes and one of the reasons why she was saying is that um, she just felt like she herself was putting this pressure on her that she always had to have the perfect essay and the perfect thing to turn in. And she was talking about how that perfectionism in her was a thing that was killing the joy of learning. And so she was talking about how she had grown over the year to realize that she can take a risk, she can be wrong, or feel like it's wrong, or maybe it's not the, you know, the exactly perfect thing that she wanted to turn in, and she can actually learn more from that. So she had said, like, I'm starting to discover some joy, and it's because I'm taking a risk, and because I'm starting to realize that my voice is something that needs to be heard, and I'm going to speak out, and anyway. I thought that that was really an incredible lesson to learn. So, and I was like, that's something that I can learn as well, right? We can always learn from that. <laughs> I think that's something that Bellevue Christian really offers to our students is the freedom, like we've already mentioned, of to figure out why we're learning these things yes. and how to think rather than just the content. Exactly. Like, I had a student last year who was so paralyzed by the need to make perfect, perfect work that they were scared to start at times. Yes. And I said, Hugh, make some bad art. Make something that you wanna throw away when you're done because that's what's gonna break you through the barrier. And that is still a valuable learning experience and it's still a valuable piece of art because what you learn through that process is gonna be more lasting than the finished piece itself. And so absolutely, those moments of yeah, make it messy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Messy is good, right? Yeah. We, we can learn from messy. Yeah.